welcome to my last first day of school. As you probably know, this isn't the typical time to be starting school on January 4th, but for obvious reasons, I took last quarter off. I have decided to try to take a couple classes this winter. We're gonna see how it goes. If it's too much between chemo and everything, then I will drop them. My first class is today, and it, but it's not until 1.30. And I have acupuncture this morning because, you know, that's just part of my <laughs> weekly routine right now. So I'm gonna be heading to acupuncture, and then when I get home, I'll have my first class. Yeah, I'm gonna make some coffee now because I am, I need to wake up. So let's do that. Mona Lisa. I cannot put your picture on my wall I just wanna know Can I be with you? Let me take the fall Fall Well, you got heart, you got soul You got everything I know wrapped around your finger I just made my vanilla latte So good Got a little blueberry muffin for the road. Let's go. Just got done with acupuncture. It was very nice today. Now I gotta go to school. We all know, we all know you got a bad for each other. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Well, tell me who's that boy over there. I just got home from acupuncture, made myself a little smoothie to get me through class. This is just so weird. I haven't done class in so long or I've had to like think about having class. I'm gonna open everything up and get it ready. I don't know why I'm anxious about school starting. I haven't done it in like six months, so it just feels really unfamiliar to me right now. I got this cute little planner though. It says 2021 breathe smile live which I thought was I needed that. I love this planner because it has week by week and then down here I haven't filled it out yet but there's weekly um, habit trackers so for example last week I did water I'm trying to drink like 60 ounces a day Workout, vitamins, stretch, and journal. So kind of just some good like mental health stuff. I'm just the kind of person that needs to like write everything down. I haven't logged into my like online school thing in so long. Oh my God. One thing I'm also gonna be doing differently, which I haven't done before in all of my years of school is I've got my little iPad now and I'm going to be taking my notes on here. I'm gonna make it like a little bullet journal of all my notes. Online, um, right now? Here we go, class. Okay, update. I just finished my first class. It wasn't too bad. I'm just having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that I have to go back to school and just compartmentalizing everything. I don't think that this will be too out of a class. I do have it with a couple friends, so that's really nice. Oh yeah, I can't believe I'm starting my senior year of college. Just got one year left. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat my lunch now. I might start up on some homework because I always, silly week is so hard for me because I'm like, oh, I need to get everything done. And I just have to like plan out when I'm gonna do what on what days and yeah. Thanks for joining me on my last first day of school. I almost said first last day. Last first day of school. I'm just gonna do some work and read about Scandinavia. <laughs> Hi guys. So I was about to finish up this video and I thought that that last clip from Monday afternoon was going to be my last clip of this video. But I have been pretty open and transparent about everything going on in my last few months of life. And I thought that I should just come on here and give a little update two days later of where I'm at with the whole school thing. So after that clip, I ended up just having a full breakdown that night. When I get stressed and anxious, I just have to cry it out. That's just the only way I can deal with things. I was an emotional little mess. I just started to get super overwhelmed with the idea of going back to school and just having to compartmentalize all of my class stuff and then still getting through chemo. I had a little good cry sesh. I just got so stressed because I'm already falling behind. It was having very conflicting sides. Like one side was telling me, 
just do it you can do it just push through another part of me was like put your health first get better and then finish school which is ultimately just makes so much sense especially when I'm saying it out loud I just got in this panic and got super insecure about finishing school late which is dumb because everyone finishes on their own time like there's no no one says you have to graduate in four years and i'm also going through chemo and cancer for pete's sake like i still have three chemos left i don't know why i'm putting so much pressure on myself when it comes to school i don't want to just take a class to take a class i put a lot of pressure on myself to do well and so i just started getting super overwhelmed and stressed out about the idea of like having to do all these papers and tests and group projects when my head is pretty much just revolving around when chemo is going to be done. I think that I'm going to just take one class this quarter and then maybe try two next quarter and just ease back into it because I really do just need to get healthy first and school will happen when it happens. I was freaking out for no reason, especially with the whole world still on pause from covid there's just no point so i just for anyone that needs to hear it or i'm pretty much telling myself everything will happen on its own time and sometimes it's hard for me to believe that even though i'm saying it i just need to believe that there is a timeline for everything and it'll happen when it's supposed to there's no set way like i didn't know i was gonna get cancer this past year and i didn't know that all of this covid and everything was gonna be thrown on top of it i just really need to prioritize my health and do that before i finish school because i want to i've got one year left one year of college and people say that college is the best time of your life and i want to enjoy it and maybe i'll be able to go back fall quarter that would be amazing but yeah i just wanted to end this video on a good note and an honest note because i felt weird uploading the video knowing that i was having a total freak out and was dropping the classes and everything i just need to get healthy first and then i can focus on other things and start adding more normal things back into my life slowly but yeah <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this last first day of school. Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me on this journey. And for anyone watching, take care of yourself. Don't stress about the little things, even though I know that's the hardest thing to hear sometimes. Really, just you gotta let it go. Let that shit go. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.